Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Panibagong araw po, panibagong tips and tricks naman po ang ating ipapakita ngayon. So now guys, our topic for today is uh, about hardware. I have a uh, iPhone XX Max here. My son dropped it. In my uh, past videos, I already said it that uh, this uh, phone was uh, dropped my son. And now we have a chance to repair this. I just want you to know that this, uh, the symptoms or the bad effects of dropping a phone by my son is uh, the phone is uh, res starting every three to five minutes then the if you if you can notice when we slide or touch the screen it's the screen will uh, shaky and uh, uh, very laggy this one and this is our topic today we will uh, i will show you how to fix it uh, i already fixed that but uh, i want to show you how to fix this kind of problem uh, this the history of this phone is uh, dropped by my son the lcd was not broken it's really functioning the only problem is the laggy and what do you call this if you can see the restarting okay so before we start don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, please click the notification bell so that youtube will notify you if i have a new videos that i upload okay so let's get started okay guys before we start i just want to show you what is the problem of this uh, iphone iphone xx max i will start this is the problem guys if you can notice the screen is laggy and it, every three to five minutes the phone will uh, automatically restart the reason of this is because my son dropped this Okay guys, if you can notice guys, the iPhone XX Max restarted, then the time is uh, 2.34, okay, then that is uh, the real problem, the laggy and the restarting. So, I will show you how I fix that, okay? Okay guys, now we know the, the problem, restarting and uh, lag, then uh, we must find a way to fix this, okay. I will show you guys the first thing we need to do was uh, to check our uh, analytic and to do that this is the first step we must do guys for those technicians we need to check our analytic we, uh, we need to go to settings then go to find our privacy then uh, analytic improvements then go to analytics data then from here we need to see the panic pool, panic, panic pool, the last, this one, then you need to screenshot that guys, then check your panic error, my panic error here is CPU one color zero by blah blah blah, then user watchdog timeout no successful check-ins, then I have uh, a list of uh, someone gave me a list of uh, a list of panic error then the solution but the error of my iphone x was not on the list then uh, after we know we knew the our uh, analytic uh, data then we need to open our uh, xx max i already opened my xx max if you can see this one I already open it if you have no skills no experience on uh, opening iPhones uh, I suggest that uh, bring your uh, phones to the nearest uh, repair shop and let them do the job okay so I will disconnect the charger then disconnect the disconnect this uh, first of all we must disconnect our battery then disconnect our LCD connectors then we will check one by one remove all the connectors just like what you see guys Then I will remove uh, this board. I have a donor board here or donor uh, parts. Just make sure that uh, you remove all the legs here. I have uh, limited uh, tools here guys because I, my tools is in my shop. It's the reason why I, I suggest that it's better for you to bring your phone to, to technicians because it's really hard to okay this one then uh, I will try to put this board here in our donor parts okay
I forgot to remove the SIM card. I will re remove it. We will try our board to this uh, housing, and we will uh, we will see what uh, what is the problem. If uh, the parts is problem or the accessories of this uh, like. charging port the charging pin charging flex i mean okay then we will try we'll try if uh, the phone was fixed then if this phone is was well, will fix then meaning to say the problem is here here in our connectors then we will uh, step uh, step by step we will find where is the fault now we will uh, check first Okay. important battery message unable to verify this as a genuine that's okay because uh, this the battery is not uh, the original battery of this phone my i first noticed guys that that the lag was fade no more lags what i mean unlike before it's very laggy but now no lag i can touch the screen uh, smoothly then we will wait i will uh, open youtube try to play one of my videos i will uh, remove the sounds okay then we'll wait until five minutes we will see if uh, if the phone will restart like before okay guys if you can notice the phone was not uh, restarted our time is uh, five minutes already and the phone uh, still uh, functioning and i will assume that uh, this phone uh, was uh, fixed but uh, we need to find out which of these uh, accessories or parts is the possible defect because uh, i'm pretty sure that uh, one of the flex is uh, the problem i need to change the only damage rather than to change a uh, new casing because uh, i love this uh, case golden My first suspect was the charging port. Before I suspect this one, the earpiece, but uh, I removed that and still uh, the same problem. But now uh, I will try this uh, charging port. We will try the charging port. This is my charging port. If I, I will connect it there, then uh, connect LCD, then we will find. We will find out if the really problem is our charging port. Okay, then turn on. Okay, let's check. I think we found a real problem, guys, because uh, I feel the laggy like before. It's not smooth, it's lag. And we will time again. Okay, guys, if you, uh, if you can see, two minutes and the phone was uh, restart. Then, uh, yes, we found the uh, defect parts and I'm pretty sure that the real problem was is the charging port. Since uh, we know we, we knew that uh, the charging port, uh, port was the uh, problem, then we will replace it in our donor par uh, board or donor parts. This is mine. Then I will uh, remove this first. I need to remove the battery first. Or what else can we do here? really hard to pull this uh, charging flex then uh, we will put our new charging flex here I don't know how, how I put it put this 
it's easy if we, we can uh, remove the battery i don't want to remove this maybe we can okay that's good that's good that's good awesome awesome job that one we need to very careful to avoid uh, damage the this uh, thirst because we have only one it's very 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 good nice one nice one i really love this kind of job oops before i forget before i forgot we will uh, we need to put this uh, okay guys i already uh, assembled the phone i put everything and this is the phone now the lag is gone the lag is gone and now uh, we will try if uh, this phone will uh, restart again but for me i'm sure that the, this phone was uh, totally fixed by replacing the charging plates i do not know why why is the charging plates is the main reason why the phone is restarting but uh, replacing the charging fin or charging flakes fix the problem of this uh, iphone x x max okay guys if you can see six minutes later but the phone and the phone is still uh, functioning the restart is uh, gone it's not uh, restarting anymore then uh, for me the problem was fixed and uh, uh, i think uh, we end this video this phone was uh, totally fixed by replacing our uh, the charging pin we first check the analytic uh, data then uh, after checking the analytic data then we try step by step uh, testing the phone from the donor parts then uh, we finally find out that the charging port or charging flex is the main cause of the problem and after replacing the charging flex then the phone was uh, used uh, normally okay so hope you enjoy the video and uh, get uh, even a little uh, knowledge about it and uh, before we end our video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, thank you very much for your support and mabuhay po tayong lahat